Hi, in these videos we're going to show the process of how to solve problems of this type. We're using the distributive property um, with different variables. Now the reasons why this stuff works and what's going on in the background here, the ideas, the why questions, we'll talk about in other videos. These are just meant as practice problems. And I'm going to show you how I'd go about solving it. So. Um, what I remember, of course, about the distributive property, I write in symbols. So A times B plus C plus D plus whatever. Um, you take the number out here that you're multiplying with and distribute it to all the parts inside. And then you add or subtract um, depending on what the operations are. So this would be equal to the same thing as A times B plus A times C plus A times D. And doing this, rewriting like this, um, can prove to be very, very useful when you're working with all kinds of equations. Um, one thing to think about is that it only works when you're multiplying the number out here, right? When that number you're using is multiplication. And in here, when you're either adding or subtracting. It doesn't work for any other operation. So so what we say is you're distributing over multipli alter with multiplication over addition or you're distributing with multiplication over subtraction. Here it's distributing with multiplication, right? We're multiplying by each term over addition because we're adding. So in here, same idea except we're subtracting. So first, what do we have? Well, it's negative 3x times x. And then we have negative 3x times negative 4. And this, of course, is a negative 4 because of the minus sign right there, right? Um, so that's one way to think about it. Another way to think about it, and this is, I think, the more friendly way, you can think of it as negative 3x times x, and then we subtract negative 3x times 4. And that's the idea of, I think it relates very nicely. It's the same thing as this. I'm just crossing it out because I don't want to use it. Um, you're taking this term, multiplying it by x, and then subtracting this by 4. I think that's a little bit easier to keep track. So anyway, what happens here? Well, x times x is the same thing as x squared. So this first term is really negative 3x squared. Then we subtract negative 3x times 4. That's just negative 12x. So we're subtracting negative 12x. Now, a friendlier way of writing this would be negative 3x squared plus 12x because we're subtracting a negative same with addition. So here, in fact, we have d, negative 3x squared, plus 12x.